Hi guys, welcome to my channel Soil and Margaritas. Today I have a fun project for you. I have a few plants here. Uh, I have these gorgeous, gorgeous micans that I want to put into one container. I am going to be moving them. This is actually kind of big. I bought this for I think $20, $25 at a local store and it has been growing like crazy. You can see all of the vines. They're just growing and growing and the plant is just loving it here. So I have that one and I got this one, I believe it was $12 and it's also growing and it's loving it here. And from these two plants, I got a couple of cuttings that I had been keeping in water and these guys have their own roots and everything. They already have roots going there. So I am going to be combining all of these three, the big plant, the smaller plant and the cuttings into this guy. This is going to be my container where I wanna keep them. I just wanna have one big stamen plant that is just, you know, like cascading and I don't know, I have seen way too many houseplant videos lately and uh, people with their micans that are just, you know, like covering or cascading on top of the furniture. I just love that. So I thought I have these plants going already. So I'm just going to combine them in one. And also, my Monstera, the cutting that I took from my main Monstera, look at that. It's already, it's giving me amazing, amazing roots. Look at that. So I, I am going to try to put this guy into this container. This guy is going to be right here, like this. So we'll see how it goes. I have never done this before. So let's start. Okay, so this is the piece that I have where I'm going to be keeping my micans. And I already have I already have this mix. It's very dry because it has been here for a couple of weeks. So I am going to be adding just a little bit of water because I personally do not like to deal with dry mixes. I'm adding just enough water so I don't have to be breathing all of that dust. And this is a combination of orchid mix, orchid potting mix and cactus potting mix. And I believe that I also added a little bit of uh, warm castings, I can't quite remember. This is a leftover that I have from putting up some other house plants. Um, but this is the mix that people recommended for the micans and also for the Monstera. So this is what I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to use add this or use it as a, as a base. And what I'm going to try to do is that I'm going to try to squeeze this out in one piece. And I did water this a couple of days ago, so. Look at that. That's actually not bad. Like I said, I bought this, uh, I will say about a, about a month and a half or two months ago or so. I kind of went crazy buying houseplants. And micans is one of those plants that I just, I just love. I don't know. So what I'm trying to do here is that I'm trying to get just a little bit of the mix that it's already there, but not too much. I just want to make sure that this guy and the other little guy fit nicely in there. So I have one there. And what I'm noticing is that this potting mix where, uh, where it has been is not super chunky. It's actually very, um, very fine. So I might just use some of that for the top. I don't know yet. 
here's the other one. Here's the little one. And I watered this a couple of days ago, so they're not completely dry. Oh, look at that. Look at this, that's beautiful. Okay, so again, I'm just going to try to get some of these out so that I can mold it nicely to the new one. Okay. Oh my goodness, I can only imagine. Okay. Oh goodness, this is going to be beautiful, just beautiful. Okay, and because I don't wanna, when I watered it, I don't wanna have the soil level like at the, at the container level. I wanna have a little bit of uh, space here so the water can just kinda collect on top and slowly go down. So that was the problem that I had with this container is that the soil level was literally uh, even with the container, so I had to slowly water it. And I know that you can also bottom water it, and I did that a few times, but sometimes I just wanna put some water in there quickly and forget about it, and I couldn't do that with this. So I am going to Add a little bit of soil here and there. Just want to make sure to begin with that I don't have any, any spots where I don't have any soil. I'm going to use some of the older soil as well to put in here. And just in case you're wondering, I did, I did fertilize this twice this winter. I think that I did it once in November and once in December. So that could be one of the reasons why it's just growing beautifully. And as I am adding the soil, I'm making sure to squeeze here and there but I'm not pushing it too hard. I just don't want to have super compacted soil. That should be good. Oh my gosh, I'm already loving this so much. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I have these cuttings. These are the ones that I um, kept in water for a couple of months. So what I'm going to do, oh, let's see. But I'm going to pop this here and there, trying to not mess with the so with the roots too much. Beautiful. Look at this. I mean, ooh, come here. This one is already, it's just already, my gosh, I love it. I'm going to work on like fixing the vines a little bit because I, I got them all tangled together. Oh my gosh, but I just love it. I just love it. I am going to keep it somewhere nice and bright where it has been. And I'm going to just give it a little bit of water and I'm gonna keep an eye on it and Yes, so happy with this one. Okay, so we are going to work with my Monstera next. And I have this, I think it's a one gallon container that I got at Menards. It already has um, holes in it, so it's a good thing. And I'm going to use the same mix going to use the same mix that I use for my micans. Let me clean this a little bit here. 
Actually, I'm going to use this here. I mean, look at the roots of this monstera. I can't remember exactly when, when I, um, I took the cutting. I think it had to be somewhere in early December, maybe, but it didn't take long. It didn't take long for the roots to start appearing. And it's just lovely. Just, just lovely, lovely. So I'm going to put it here. If I have to guess, I have this all the way at the bottom, sitting all the way at the bottom there. Um, a trick that somebody taught me was that if I wanted the roots to spread out throughout the container, was to add a little bit of potting soil at the base and then add the soil as I go and then gently, very gently, pull the plant up trying not to, you know, break it from the roots. And I have been enjoying this Monstera here on my table while I prep for starting seeds and my things ready and it might it might actually get a little bit of a shock going from water to soil but I'm going to just do my best to keep it alive that's really all it can do and I'm just tapping the soil you just a little bit not super hard good I am so excited you guys I I am loving everything I'm loving how my house plants are are uh, loving this room the light here is just amazing so I cannot complain I am going to be putting this on the side where they need to go and I'm going to make sure they have plenty of water I might actually have some sort of bamboo stick here to keep all of these leaves on the monstera together I'm not sure yet uh, but thank you for being here. I hope that you guys enjoy this video and I will see you on the next one.